Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. Well, we are breaking down the temporary shelter that we built for ourselves. We're going to take the radio and the fabricator and we're going to move it to our new home, our new base we're building. We're going to empty out all the storage. We're going to break it down completely, but it takes some time because we have limited inventory space. So we have to do a little bit at a time. Let's go inside. All right, so we made some windows and we got to decide where I want the fabricator. I think I want it by this window. So let's see how it looks there. And since it's so easy to move stuff, you know, I can always change everything around later, which I usually do. <laughs> There's our fabricator, and let's see, we need to put the radio somewhere. How about right up here? Cool, that looks great. Alright. Now we need to make some storage next to the fabricator. And let's see, everything looks good. We're going to probably fill up all those walls. We'll have to put some reinforcement later. Got to just watch how much load we're putting on it. Okay. It's hard to line these up a little bit. Yay! Storage! I like the wall units, but I wish their storage capacity was larger. Don't really like the floor units, but they're much bigger. Alright, let's see. Um, let's build another standing storage for now because we've got to dump all our stuff out so we want a bigger one we'll stick it right there for now eventually every element will have its own locker all right um okay let's go back to the other pod and, uh, yeah, this is the other exit, and I'm not sure I like it. I'm probably going to move it. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, let's, thank you. Let's clean this out. All right, we've cleaned out the temporary pod, and we've built a couple of uh, little planters by the exit. And we're going to put the marble melon in there. We made a food locker and a water locker and let's see we need to make a there we go got both of them in there and we put a potato in the other one. All right we need a big planter and I think we want to put it in the middle of the room for the lantern plants. Um, or I could put them by the wall. Mm. Mm, nah, I don't like it there. I think I'm going to put it in the middle of the room. I think it looks kind of cool. I have to walk around it, but like I said, we can move anything. Oh, lining it up. It's not uh, don't have enough stuff. Oh, no. Alright, let's finish this grow bed. Excellent. Now we need to put some of the plants in it. Just a second. And skip ahead over the boring parts. Let's see. We'll put another lantern tree. Now the way I understand it, it puts it in specifically in this order. But you can put the plants in any way you want. So depending on what you put in first that's where it'll land so that's that's how you can actually decide what goes where in the bed by the order you put them in all right we're ready to break down this this temporary storage compartment that we have Just got rid of the hatch and now we're getting rid of this uh, solar panel oh no Ran out of power. 
get this thing going. We need it. There we go. The light's back on. And it's working again. Alright, let's go down here and we'll take that off. And we definitely want to hurry up and put it on top. Let's get rid of that. And we want to put the solar panel on top. We already did one. That's why we have power inside the, the home the base. Let's put a second one. That gives us more power. Solar panel. Alright, we got two. Now let's just get rid of this foundation and we're done with the destruction of the first little base. Looking good. Looking good. And plenty of room for expansion. Now, probably eventually this, obviously this grow bed will be moved. Right now we can't keep connecting and connecting to the base because we have no reinforcement other than the bulkhead. Alright. Kind of empty our pockets here as much as possible. Just drink some water. We can eat when the plants get ready. You know, I'm thinking maybe we can just put them in one cabinet for now. Um, yeah, let's see. Are, is there any food? Why, yes, there is. We have first, we have grown our food. Now, you can't overpluck them because you'll kill the plant. So just take what you need and let it recuperate. All right. I'm very pleased so far with this little bitty base. It's bigger than the last one. We can store more stuff, so that's good. We'll probably be doing lots and lots and lots of modifications to this base until we get it working properly. All right, let's go see about the grab ball because um, maybe it'll help us find some silver. Oh, wow, it's got tons of food sticking to it. Of course, we don't need food anymore, but we definitely need those poofy things for water. So we don't have a way. You can catch it. Catch it. Okay, we got one. I think we'll just get everything. Because I want to make an aquarium. I think they're pretty. I mean, I guess technically it's kind of like a food storage system, but in case, in case I get hungry and I have to have emergency food, I'll always have fish in it. I like getting like one of each, you know, whatever kind of fish I have, I'd like a one of each specimen. Any time now. Fishing is almost just makes it easier, that's for sure. What would be absolutely freaking awesome is if you could just pick up the grab ball and all the things that are stuck to it would go in your inventory automatically. And stuff that is not allowed in your inventory, like that little dude. You could, uh, it just freeze it, so. But, you know. If that happens, I've never figured out how it works. Alright, let's drop off all these fishy guys. I think we're going to have to make an aquarium. <gasps> it was the first time we've been welcomed aboard. Oh, there's a radio message. This is life pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Oh, yay. Okay, that means I guess they got a picture. I might figure out where it is. Okay, we can just put all these guys inside the 
food and water storage system. Definitely need to make some water. Okay. I need a rebreather. It's imperative. There's the voice log. I like that it lights up stuff that's new. And you kind of have to look at it. Make sure you can get it. Um, codes and clues. Okay, let's see. That's the picture of where their thing is. Uh, don't recognize this place. Hmm. Hmm. Distress signal. Okay. One me kilometer southwest of the Aurora's stern section. That's where that is. Oh, yay. That's going to be fun trying to find that. We got other stuff we have to do. I'm sorry. We can't go there safely. There's no point in trying to do a rescue if you die before you get there. So, we'll just add it to the list of stuff we gotta do. Um, I think I wanna move the door over one. So, the sideways one. Ooh, look at this. I love it. Love it. It's so far. Now you can see the other pod because of the green stuff at night. And there's the different beacons that we've got going. We can't avoid putting it on. But look at these lights at night. They're so awesome. Very nice. I think I want this store moved. One over. there. So we're going to have to pick up these pots and we're going to have to move the... Yeah, it's going to let me put that there. Cool. Now we can de move the hatch over. Ta-da! Oh, I like that much better. Yep, yep, yep. And then we can put storage all along there. Okay, so now let's see. I want to put the pots back. Okay, and put the potato plant back in there. Fine. Um, I think I'll move this other pot over here. That'll give room for uh, an aquarium. Alright, so let's put another potato in. Cool, and maybe put another one here. Then I'll have more. If it'll fit. There we go. Uh, squish it in there. Titanium. Ta da! Alright, now we'll put another potato in. <gasps> Yay! Um, let's see. Um, let's see if we can put the aquarium in. I really, really like them. There we go. And what do we need? Quartz. Uh, titanium. Hope that's enough. Make some glass. So glass. 
else or something. Okay, I'll probably have to go get some more of that. And let's see, we'll put this melon in. Hello? There we go. Yeah. Excellent. We'll put that one in there, and that takes care of all the plants. Ugh. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. That's better. Oh no. All right. Uh, let's see. We need some crystals. I hope maybe there's some more. Oh, ooh. Let's clean up. Pick a. Yeah, pick up this debris. See, I think they'll be. What's down here? Ooh, I see an egg down there. I have a feeling. Yep, cave creatures. Might have those blasty guys. Oh, there's some oh, crap. Ow. Oh no, there's another one. Ah! Hey. Okay. Get some more. Crash powder. All right, let's get these cave sulfur. Okay, go down and get the crystals. Another one. All right. I hope that's enough. <laughs> it's easy to get disoriented. Thank goodness for the beacons. And this one's too low. Need to put it up top. Closer to the the top of the the home. I want to move that. Put it up here. Oxygen. Up we go. Goodness. Seems like a million miles away, but it's not. All right, let's try this again. Let's do the beacon. Put it in the last slot. Put it out. Oh. I have two beacons. All right, let's edit it and put home. Home sweet home. There we go. Okay, that's done. And make it yellow. Let's distinguish it from the other beacons. Okay. Maybe someday we can push the other one above us. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, no. Why, thank you. The trees are looking great. They're ready to go. <gasps> How pretty. Yum, yum. Drink some water. Alright, let's drink some glass. And we can finish the aquarium. in there and finish. <gasps> Ta-da! Aquarium! Yay! Okay, now we can put some fish in it. Let's see. One of that. One. That one. That one. That's it. Okay, we'll have to put some extras. Duplicates until we get something different. There we go. But my favorite fish is in there, which is the whole fish. 
<laughs> love that fish. It's absolutely my favorite. Okay. There we go. We've got our little aquarium. It looks fantastic. Um. Hmm. Well, this place is shaping up rather nicely. Go ahead and put one more in. So it's full now. If something happens, we've got enough food to last a couple of days. Only problem is we need to amp up the water production here. Oh, this looks so wonderful. It's shaping up really nice. All right, we still need. Uh, we can make a stasis rifle. What? Okay, what we need to do is build a rebreather, so we still need the silver. Go ahead and break up this titanium. Absolutely sure we have no silver because I want to make it right now. It's so tedious going to look for silver. It's so hard to find. Well, in the near. Let's just put it that way. And just being out in the open. I think uh, I'm very happy with the new base. And uh, so far so good. And I think we'll end the episode here. I want to thank you so much for watching. So we will talk to you later. Bye!